everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Matching Amazing Tickles with Amazing Outfits. Today is raining outside and it's like mid-fall <coughs> and um, I want to talk to you about burgundy and brown. So I'm wearing a burgundy shell and a brown dress. Now some people say when you put on a tickle you start getting more respect in the world. Well try putting on a full length dress then you're really going to get respect. Um, but hopefully you can find one like this near you. So let's talk about burgundy and brown. This is my Fresh Outdoors which is my personal signature and it's going to go up because um, right now I'm going to put on the Peaceful Mornings kit. Now this Peaceful Mornings, when we made it for you, we chose to bring out the black, but it's actually a really, really warm scarf, so we're going to bring out the brown today. And how I've been tying a lot these days is one end shorter. And that's going to work great for tying Peaceful Mornings if you want a lot of volume. If you want a medium amount of volume, tie your scarf the same um, with both ends the same length and then you'll you won't have any extra bulk but watch how we're gonna get some extra bulk because of this really long strip basically it's going to go a little bit pleated and then up 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 and around and we have two choices right here we can just tuck it up the back and make a little bit more volume here or what I prefer is to make a backwards knot see now this is gonna go up into my tickle and give me even more volume to work with. And it's a really nice thick pashmina, so it's easy. Okay. Now we're gonna add the pin, the signature pin coming right up. Um, before I do that, actually here's signature pin. Um, way back from the beginning days of Rapunzel, before I do that, I wanna show you a really neat thing. This is a headband that will be online any minute, and it's really, really flexible and thin and just perfect. And what I would do is put this on either with the pin or without the pin if I wanted to make it extra special. There you go. Okay. And I tuck this under my ends, tuck the little black ends under. Now, at the beginning of this video, I told you that we're going to do outfits. And we're going to talk about burgundy and brown, and that's because burgundy and brown works for everyone. Now, as you know, different colors don't look good on everyone, so how could I say that? So I put together a few burgundy and brown variations that work for different people. So here we have the pashmina. This brown pashmina is so rich. It's so, it's like, it's the classiest, darkest. It's so, it's beautiful. And it goes like this. So let's say this look is a little bit too rustic for you. You want a more classy look. You want to go with this combination of burgundy and brown, which it's really more wine, right? Okay. Here are a few other things for you to look at. If you don't have this kit, even if you really want it, you could get it. But if you don't have this kit, you probably have a New York Bright. So the New York Bright we recently got in a dark red, which is so beautiful with the brown. Look at that. You can wear these two together and get the same thing, just a little bit more cheerful, more bright. And for those of you who like really, really bright, you can go with this or with this. And you have that same burgundy and brown. Um, what I've been doing lately is basically getting everything in burgundy. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy. Um, I just picked this up. Um, and what's nice about having a dress is that you can dress it up or dress it down. Here it's kind of casual dress down. And then if you have a few jackets in the colors that you love, you can just throw it over your dress and um, it usually works really, really nicely. Also because a skirt kind of starts here and, you know, can give you extra width, but a dress usually starts from higher up and gives you um, just like a more fluid kind of look. Oh, my collar. Okay, so, yeah, that's it. Burgundy and brown. Look in your wardrobe. I know you have some kind of variation of this and it's gonna, it's so toasty and warm. And you know what? Brown is the new black. Black is, um, it's great. It's not as great as brown. Uh, so here is wishing you a wonderful day. I'm going to go put on my signature pin and say goodbye. Bye, everyone.